In this video, I want to talk to you about significance levels. Now, if you haven't met hypothesis testing before and you haven't done binomial hypothesis testing, you won't know what I mean by a significance level. Uh, so a very quick introduction. Um, essentially, it is a value that we put onto a hypothesis test where we want to essentially say, OK, well, this is going to be the cutoff. This is the cutoff for where I am going to be convinced as to whether I should reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. That, in a nutshell, is what we're talking about when we talk about a significance level or a critical value. Okay? The critical value, it makes more sense because it's like, well, um, at this critical value, if it reaches this point, then I will reject the null hypothesis. A significance level is essentially the same concept. It's just going, right, I want 10% at the top um, or 5% or 1% okay, at the tail. And the definition of a significance level, so the significance level is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when, in fact, it is true. OK, so essentially in what we're talking about with uh, PMCC hypothesis testing, uh, we are testing a null hypothesis which says that there is no correlation in the parent population. OK, so uh, if there is a 10% significance level, what that's saying is that there is a 10% chance that we reject that null hypothesis when, in fact, there is no correlation in the parent population. OK, and if you reduce, you might be going, oh, well, OK, well, if 10% if means that, uh, I don't want to reject the null hypothesis when, in fact, it's true. I don't want that to happen. So I'll reduce the significance level down. OK, well, you can do that. Uh, not, probably not an exam question, just so you're clear. Uh, the significance level is likely to be fixed. You're not going to have the uh, option to change it. Um, but the idea is there that if you reduced it down to, let's say, OK, well, I'll reduce it down to 5% then. Now there's only a 5% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when, in fact, it is true. But when you do that, even though you've reduced the chance of that bad thing happening, the problem now is that you have reduced the chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when, in fact, it is false. Okay, so because you are narrowing that gap, that means that it is more difficult to um, reject the null hypothesis, which, if the null hypothesis is wrong, well, you want to do that. Okay, so there is this fine uh, balancing act with significance levels and setting them. Um, so, as I said, uh, or inferred, um, that in the exam question, you won't be setting a significance level, but you might have to discuss um, the pros and cons of changing a significance level and what the difference is between a 10% or 5% or a 1% significance level. You might also be asked to um, state what a significance level is, in which case you need to learn this statement. Okay. Now, I'm going to look at the critical values uh, in the next bit. Okay, so we're going to look at the critical values uh, right now so that we can kind of bring this all these concepts together and we'll see how we can actually uh, get the critical values to perform the test. So here is the OCR MEI formula booklet and we are going to go all the way through down to uh, page 12. 
Okay, and unfortunately, it's on its other side, so we have to flip that around. Here we go. Okay, so uh, we are focusing here on the PMCC um, hypothesis test in this section. So what you want to do is just look at the left hand section here. Now the right hand section is the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient uh, critical values that we'll use uh, in the next section. Um, so they work in precisely the same way as the PMCC ones do in how you read them, uh, which is convenient. Just make sure that you don't um, use the Spearman's rank ones when you're doing a PMCC hypothesis test, for example. So at the top, you've got this option of one tail test and two tail test, and you've got the significance levels here. So two tail, 1%, 2%, 5%, 10%. And one tail test, half percent, one percent, two and a half percent, five percent. So if it is a one tail test at the five percent significance level, then you're going to look down this column here. Now you'll see that N is on the left hand side, so the size of your sample. Okay, so if N is 20, for example, then at a five percent one tail test, our critical value will be 0 0.3783. And that's how we can use the tables to read it off. So the N goes all the way up to 60. Okay. Um, you, will, you won't be tested on any critical values beyond N is 60 because your calculator cannot actually calculate these values.